Model 3 is as safe as advertised. A Model X is hit by a plane. Supercharger idle fees are being updated. And Model 3 looks to be getting a key fob. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 451 for September 21st, 2018. We start the end of the week with a story from Tesla Roddy. I feel that I need to start this first with a clip from Elon when the Model 3 was unveiled oh so long ago, before anyone had even seen the car. Let's hear from you here, Elon. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying the Model 3 is going to be an incredibly safe car. Um, we really believe at Tesla that safety has to come first. We, we care about you. We want you to be safe. We want your friends and family to be safe. This is paramount. The Model 3 will be, not just be five-star on average, it will be five-star in every category. So, yeah, they followed through on that promise. The National Highway Transportation and Safety Administration, or NHTSA for short, released Model 3's rankings today, and as promised, not only an overall five-star rating, but a five-star rating in every subcategory as well. It joins Model S and Model X with the same distinction of five-star safety ratings from NHTSA. Now, we're still waiting on IAHS to give its final result, and they are notoriously more stringent, so we'll see what we get from them. Model 3 is off to a good start there, though, earning a superior rating from the Organization for Front Crash Avoidance, but as I found out not that long ago, they've not yet received the test vehicles required to finish their testing, and they have no timetable for that. I suspect we'll get more of the same from IIHS, though Model 3's headlights will disqualify it from the top rating from the organization. Regardless, Model 3 is one of the safest cars you can drive. Congratulations to the entire Tesla team on the achievement. This next one is one out of the You Can't Make This Stuff Up department. A Model X, minding its own business driving down the road, was hit by a plane. Anyel Karup posted to his Facebook page some pretty unbelievable pictures and the following text, quote, Many saw this on the news just now, and I'm getting calls with concerns about our safety. I want to let all my friends and family know that Arav and I are completely fine. God and this car truly saved us today. Not a scratch on us. No one believed me when I called them to let them know a plane crashed into me. Tesla, people thought it was a prank call. Wife laughed at me first. Jokes aside, this was a serious matter. I saw my life flash in that minute. A second is all it takes. End quote. Really? A plane? I have seen it all now. All passengers on the plane were okay, as well as all vehicles hit by the plane, as there was indeed a second vehicle that the plane hit too. Thank goodness everybody is safe. Next up, Teslarati informs us of an update to the supercharger idle fees. Previously, this was a simple system, charging $0.40 cents per minute idle. Now, the system has more nuance, splitting things on how occupied the charger happens to be. If the charger is at least 50% occupied, the fee is now $0.50 cents per minute. If the charger is full, double it to a buck a minute. In addition to this, Tesla has rolled out an update to the cars to let owners pay for supercharging from the car's center screen. Entering a card into the screen will save the card to your Tesla account for future use. Something also to note, the program will shut down access to the supercharger system if a car's account has a balance of $50 or more due to idle fees or paper use. This, of course, will immediately be reinstated the moment a payment is made. Finally, for those of you Model 3 owners that don't particularly like the key card or key phone solutions for Model 3, Electrek tells us that the FCC has outed the fact that Model 3 will indeed be getting a key fob of its own. Just like the other cars, it's a miniature version of the car. This one utilizes Bluetooth Low Energy just as entry via the phone works. Tesla updated the manual saying this about the fob, quote, this key fob is used for users that don't want to use phone or NFC card to unlock their car. It contains three buttons that are able to unlock the front, door, and trunk, end quote. It's not clear if this will be an accessory available for purchase or if this will come with the car. I'm guessing this will be an accessory as the car was built with the key card in mind, but we'll await official word from Tesla. 
Check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks as always to our super patrons out there supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sportline, Michael Pastroni, and Travis and Cheyenne Rush. If you're looking to purchase a Model S, Model X, or Model 3 Performance, you can enjoy $100 in that aforementioned supercharging credit and hook me up with some Tesla swag by using the referral link ts.la slash jim50888 to purchase the vehicle. That's ts.la slash jim50888. If you can't support with dollars, feel free to leave a positive review for the show instead. If you have feedback for me, as always, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again on Monday. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.